Hey there, everybody. This is Dominator Axel. Uh, I'm shooting another PC help video for everybody. This is <laughs> how to install Minecraft mods, and that's my brother Steven in the back. Um, and, and we are going to uh, go ahead and get this video started. So, uh, those who want to install Minecraft mods, to start out, you need to find your Minecraft jar. And uh, the way we find that in Windows 7, and almost the same in Windows XP, is by hitting the start orb or start button and typing in run and for Windows XP run is usually in the right corner around this area and you just click run and in the open field here you're going to type in percent app data percent and hit enter and it's going to open your roaming app data folder and uh, in this folder is all the, the various data that your applications store when they're running and uh, it keeps them in here almost like kind of temporary files but uh, here we're gonna go into dot minecraft so double click to go into that folder and then double click the bin folder to go into that folder now here we have our minecraft our actual minecraft file that uh, runs the entire game it's a jar file executable jar files it says right here so I've already created a copy but for those who want to be safe it's actually uh, highly recommended by me. You're going to want to make a copy of your original Minecraft jar. This is the original, and this is, should be the modded one. So if you were going to copy Minecraft jar, uh, you would right-click on your Minecraft jar and hit Copy. And then right-click an empty field and click Paste, and you would get a copy here. So I'm going to rename this. Instead of just being Minecraft Copy 2, we're going to call it Minecraft Example. And that's going to give us something we can work off of just in case our original Minecraft jar gets messed up. But this is what this one's already modded. I've already uh, executed some mods on this one. But we're going to try putting some mods in this one first. So Minecraft copy is the original and example is the one we're modding today. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to go to 7-zip. Now here's uh, one thing where you're going to need to uh, sidestep if you don't have this program. 7-Zip is a compression utility, and it allows you to open jar files. So the best way to get it is to hit up Internet Explorer, open that up, and go to any search toolbar and just type in 7-Zip with no spaces, hit enter, and that's going to lead you to 7-Zip. And when you click on the main site, it's 7zip.org, 7-zip.org. You click there. And you can download uh, the MSI if you have a 64-bit system. And you can download the executable if you have a 32-bit system. And once that's downloaded, you can run the program like you, like you would with any other download. So now that we have 7-zip, we can actually go in and start modding Minecraft. So we go to... <laughs> Steven, again... Uh, we right click on Minecraft example because that's the one we're going to mod and go to 7-zip and in the shell extension we're going to click open archive and that's going to go into the Minecraft jar. This is what's inside your Minecraft jar. All these class files. So um, if you have Windows 7 I utilize this tool a lot. You can arrow snap this to the right. That'll tell you that this is your Minecraft jar and then you can put whatever mod archive you're opening on the left side. So, we're going to go get the first mod that anyone should probably install would be Mod Loader by Rizugami. So, we're going to go ahead and get that. Now, you search Mod Space Loader Rizugami. And the host site should be MinecraftForum.net. And if not, you can usually find links to the forum through other sites. So, we're going to go ahead and try this first link. I'm quite sure. I remember doing this one before. So, once we get this, we can actually go to the uh, destination folder and get that. Okay. So, here we have uh, the current version right here. Download version 4 or version 5. And these both are compatible with, according to what this says. Okay, though, this is definitely not it. So get rid of the Rizugami part, because I remember being able to search this. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Mod Loader 1.8.1. That's one 
valid link, I believe. Nope, that's not it either. Try, I know, I failed. Try this without a space. Okay, here we go. So this is the unofficial mod loader website. Now, they've made recent ones for one, Minecraft 1.1. And if you're wanting to get that, then then run that. But the main issue is that ugh, this isn't it either. Well, wait, no, it's not. Okay, never mind. I've got it. If you click download mod loader 1.1.0, it will give you a um, a main link right here, and you can download it right here. And this will take you to an AdFly link. And once you get to this AdFly link, you'll be able to ex extract the file. So we're going to go ahead and try this since I have 1.1. We're going to confirm download Minecraft for Minecraft 1.1. And once again, this is if you've bought Minecraft and you have the latest version downloaded. If not, there are older versions you can also find on the internet. But we're going to try it with the current version, Minecraft 1.1. So it'll take you to this AdFly page. And it's going to give you a, a wait time to be able to you know, have, the, have the ad pop up for a couple seconds. And then you can go ahead and proceed to your download link if it will actually go. Okay, here we go. One. All right, and then you skip the ad, and it will go straight to your download link, hopefully, if it's actually going to work. <laughs> okay. Now, you're going to get this folder called modloader.zip. You're going to hit save as, and uh, save it to your desktop. That would be the safest place to do it. So hit save. And it's already finished downloading, so it's a relatively small file. You can cut out of that. Minimize the bin file. And mod loader is right here. Now, we right-click on the mod loader zip folder and go to 7-zip open archive. And we drag that over to the left side of our arrow snap windows. Now, to mod this file of Minecraft, it's pretty easy. Um, you go ahead and drag and highlight all of these, every single file within your mod loader. And uh, the, most, the simplest way to install it is to just drag it straight into your Minecraft jar, not inside of any of these folders, just inside the jar itself. So do it within empty space and, un, and unclick. And then it's going to ask me, do you want me to copy? You click yes. And now your Minecraft is modded with, audit, with a mod loader. And uh, there, there are various other mods that will help you run other mods. That's essentially what Mod Loader is. It's the main branch mod that allows for you to, to load other mods into your game. So the other main mods that you can use are Audio Mod. Um, there's a couple of other ones, but they'll help you install most of the mods that are involved in Minecraft. So if you were to uh, get an Aesthetic mod, the best way to do that is to look up the mod that you're looking for uh, for example, you would want to look up what's a simple one. Um, we could try the Ether mod. That's a really big mod, but it uh, helps with this example. Um, it will go to. It will usually go to the uh, the main page for your mod right here, the Ether, and it shows you you know a description of what the mod might be, some pictures and other things like that. No. And, um, and you can download the Ether mod right here. And, um, and, and, there's, and they usually come with their individual instructions. Each different mod comes with individual instructions. And make sure you follow those instructions. And if you have Mod Loader loaded, it should usually run the mod. And um, some mods also have uh, various requirements. So you might have to have other different styles of mod loaders to be able to even load your mod that you're looking for. So it's a difficult process right now. But I've heard that Jeb, the code writer for Minecraft, is working on a, um, a, a mod API himself so that you can just easily load mods without having to go into the Minecraft jar. So that's essentially how you install Minecraft mods. Mod Loader is definitely the first one you should get because it helps you install all the other mods. Now, if you want to run your Minecraft file, you take Minecraft example, right-click on it, rename it, and name it Minecraft. That way that when you click your Minecraft link, it will run the example file instead of your base one. And that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much.
I'll see you guys soon in the next PC Help video. Connection established.